I think what I might do with this little basket for now is I might separate the little bags from the big bags because sometimes I want to carry something small and all of these bags are just in here together like all my Tory Burch bags and my Louis Vuitton bags and just sometimes I just want a little small bag not something big so I'll probably go through this and see what bags I can put in this other one. I don't know which, you know what? No, they're about the same size. I thought this one was gonna be smaller, but they're all about the same size. So I'm gonna organize these little bags. I don't think that's anything I wanna put in a drawer, although I could use these baskets for something else. But for now, I just am not thinking that I need it for anything. I did take the charm off of this bag. Let me see if I have it in my jewelry box. And I made it into a necklace. And I wore it whenever I wore my shoes. Yeah, here it is. Let me show you guys. So I just took that, I just took the thread out and see, I just made it into a necklace. I think if you have like the little jewelry things that you can clip on, I mean, I probably could have done a better job at this, but it does lay flat when I wear it. I haven't worn it in forever, but yeah, I took that took that little charm off of one of those dust bags. And that's how I made that. And all you have to do is just pull it out. I mean, you can pull it all the way out and then it makes into a necklace. You could probably even make these into earrings or a bracelet. So, yeah, I mean, they're on there, so might as well use them. Okay, I went through all of these bags. Look at all these sizes of Louis Vuitton, Gucci. This one flew up. So these are the same size, but they look different. Like they have different coloring. I have several of these little bags, this size. These two are kind of similar, but they're, this one's smaller. I have these, these typically the belts come in. I have that big one there. I know for my luggage, I left the dust bag in the luggage. So I know I don't have that one. And then I have all of these smaller ones. Um, I think the lock to my Speedy Bondelier came in that one. This one was the one that I got recently. And this one has a suede material. This is the little bag that I got my necklace in. And then I just have these from Kinder Scott. The My Intent Bracelet Dior. Here's another size of Louis Vuitton. I have those over there from Fashion File. That... I bought my speedy giant bondolier from and then a smaller little bag from them. I had these garment bags from Express and Coach for coats that I bought. And then I had these different size of Tory bags. I have this really longer one and then this one with this pattern. And then I have these with this other pattern really i should have more of these bags from tory birch because i have about four pairs of tory birch shoes and i only have two pair of bags now i don't know if the pair came together in this one i don't know but i did buy a bag which is what this one came in so I think I am missing some because I do remember I took the little, well, no, it was off of this one. This is the one that I took the little charm off of. But yeah, these are all my dust bags that I want to organize better. And I like keeping them together because when I go out of town and I'm glad that I'm organizing them because... Oh, these are the little Tory Burch. When you get jewelry from them, these are like a satin. Very pretty purple. When I go out of town, I want to be able to put jewelry in a little bag or something. I do keep a 
little bag in my on the go so when i do travel it's already in there look at all these bags all these dust bags and then i did find some ribbon in one and i took it out so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put all the little ones in one and get them organized like that do you guys keep your dust bags in the box or separate or I like that I took them out and that way I can use them when I want to take a bag or something I can just slip it in there but the way they were in this basket was not allowing me to do that so hopefully I can organize these better okay I have the first one done so what I did is I just put them by size order all of the Louis Vuitton and then all of the little small bags regardless if they were Louis Vuitton or Dior or Chanel I put them all here on this side along with the little Louis Vuitton sleeves because I just think that's what's going to work best in here. These are awesome like if you're taking extra shoes to protect your shoes and also um, belts and stuff like that. And then I put the garment bags on the bottom of this because I'm not going to use them for those coats. I had them in the garment bags and I never used them. So that's the reason I took them out. And they're not, they really don't have to be protected. Like they're not wool or cashmere or anything like that. So they could be out there. I think it's a raincoat and trench coat that I bought. Then I just went ahead and put the fashion file bags. And then in this one, I'm just going to put Tory Burch and Gucci bigger bags. Now, in case you're wondering with this one, when I cut off that side, because they both have a side and I don't know how I did that, but I think I just pulled it out. See how it has a loop here and then the little medallion on this one that I took it off of. See, it doesn't have the loop there. I pulled it out and then it doesn't have the medallion, but I did want to show you all that it's still... It still tightens. Let me see if I can do this with two hands or with one hand. See, it still, it still tightens, so I'll still be able to use it. So I'm not sure how that happened, but just wanted to let you guys see that. And so here's this one. And so it allows me a visual to see the garment bags down here and the fashion file bags so that when I'm looking for them, I know where they are. And what a surprise, I still have my Ross tags on here. <laughs> I don't know what it is with me and tags. Here's the other one. Tag. So, yeah, I think this is going to help me see them better. Now, I could put them in a drawer, but I just really, right now... I'm not sure what I want to put in the drawers. I might put it in that last drawer once we put them in. Now that they're organized. But I'm going to wait until my husband puts that drawer in before I decide what I'm going to put in there. But for now, these are good. I can put some socks in here if I do decide to empty these out. So I'll just have to wait and see with that. So yeah, it just gives me more room in here and it makes it look a whole lot better than it was because it was it was a mess i mean i couldn't see where the dust bags were and i just didn't like that i want to i want to be able to see where they are and then i'll cut this tag off <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm going to continue to leave this door closed just because of the moss. I don't know if it helps or not to have doors open or closed. And then I'll finish up here whenever my husband gets home and puts that drawer in for me. And also I just went ahead and put my mask in here. So I just have them here where all my belts are at. Again, you know them somewhere else let me see no maybe they i could put them here 
I just want to put them where, kind of like my sunglasses, when I'm going to go somewhere, I know where they are. I'll put this in here. Texas is not required to wear masks anymore. And so it's now your choice if you want to wear one or not. And so I like that I have the freedom to choose whether I want to wear it or not and whether I want to dine in or not. And as you can see, since I'm putting them in here, that we still will wear our mask. Just organize those better. Okay, and so before I finish off this video, I want to give you guys a quick update until I'm able to get more stuff that I'm going to put in this room. But I took my degrees off of there. And then when you walk in this room, it's kind of the same still set up. I kept a bookshelf here, my Dyson here, my clothing rack there. And this carpet is sort of the circumference of the island that I'm wanting. And so as you can see, it'll leave quite a bit of room still. It'll be a little bit shorter and a little bit narrower. But that's kind of the gist of what that's going to look like. We fixed the hose and painted already. And I ended up putting my hats and scarves and baskets down there only because I felt like I wanted the space underneath my closet over here to be empty. I don't know why I got this basket because I like that these now can have the room that they need to go all the way down. But it's okay. I mean, I'm sure I'll use that basket for something sometime. So the drawer's in now. This is the last drawer. And I ended up just putting scarves in here that I don't normally use all the time. And so that's what's in here. And again, my equipment is in these two, my sunglasses. And then this one is still empty. So I still have room there. And then here I did take my ring light out of here, which is good. And I'm going to keep the jewelry box in there and I'm going to keep this per piece of furniture in here too. I made that a while back. I don't know if I told you guys that. But what I'm thinking too is maybe I might go ahead and put these in that drawer and use those for my socks, for my boots. But it's not a big deal. I mean, it's okay if it stays in there like that. There is my ring light that I want to leave plugged in and ready to film. So let me show you guys my office again. The light is the star of this room. Okay, so here's my office. And what I went ahead and did was put the floor mats under there and here and left this table there. I can always roll this chair around here. You know, when I used to be in meetings, this chair would roll back. And so I kind of like that I can just be on the carpet and it'll help me not roll as much. I put my degrees here, my little bins there. As you can see, it's a little bit closer. That way it's not in the corner here. I still get the same daylight that I was getting before. Here's my desk and the only change here was I went ahead and took the trays out and put all of my extra stuff in there. I'm thinking I'm not going to get a bookshelf or anything else in here except decor and I went ahead and left my picture there. I'm not sure where I want it yet so I didn't want to hang that. And then this piece of furniture was actually in our master 
bedroom and it was at the foot of our bed but I thought because it had still feet instead of trying to buy a seating for in here I thought this would look good in here and we have plenty of room in the bedroom and kind of moved some stuff around in there so yeah this is my office the only thing is having all of these wires here let me show you guys my from this angle so the television set is on that wall initially i wanted it more in the corner but like my husband said i would have all these wires running down which i still do but i think maybe if i can get something to go there just to block it i'm not real worried about it it's fine i'm sure eventually i'll find something and then in this corner which you can't see from me standing at the door is that situation with those items that i have to have there and also the internet box that has to be there as well really happy with the way everything turned out now it's just going to be a matter of getting wall decor up on the walls and finding something to go here maybe so yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it all turned out so i'm gonna end the video here thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye